Hello and welcome to an apple a day with Dr. Amanda. I'm so glad you're here. Happy Monday. Happy Mirthful Monday. Mirthful means funny, joyous, <laughs> all of the above. And so I'm here to bring you a little bit of fun. Some happy, exciting news is that I will be um, having a book and it's called All the Things That I've Done That You Don't Have to Worry About Doing Ever. And it talks about some funny and some people think it's embarrassing, but I think they're funny because they're my past stories and things that I've done and can laugh about now. And maybe you can laugh at. And also just with some wisdom at the end, little morals, almost like an Aesop fable, but Amanda fables, <laughs> but really happened. Uh, so also I am having a, a couple other things coming. You know, I really like to write. So be, stay tuned. I have a blog and it's on my Healthy Roots LLC site, but I also have a devotional because I'm also a woman of faith, so I'm going to have that out for women coming out soon, and a couple of other things in development for teens and youth, as well as some blogs and webinars coming up just in talking about our mindset. I'm a huge fan of the mindset. I've had to go through years, probably decades, of learning how to identify my thoughts, <clears throat> what are what is healthy thinking, what isn't, and how to overcome that, and what were the belief systems I had that made me think that way. And so all of us are in a, on a journey, so I just hope that whatever I learn, I can share with you. So with further ado, without further ado, you know, I will be having those coming up. It'll be on my website. I'll also be advertising that. I really want to give value to all of you. And so just be stay tuned if you any of those interest you, you know, I have a funny story, my devotional. I also have my own personal story that should be coming out next year. Um, just working on it. And I also want to make sure it's a book that honors people. <laughs> I have stories and also just shows the redemption of so many things in my life. And so it really talks about my whole walk um, in this life, things that I've gone through. And I just believe I've gone through so much that I have such grace and compassion for all of you out there and I know what it's like and I can relate. I may not have experienced it precisely. We all experience things differently. Not one of us has the same experience, but we can relate or at least empathize and understand. So with that said, this Mirthful Monday, I will be talking about a story that I am going to hopefully write a children's book about. It is all about this one day, you know, I have two cats. I used to have three, my little Kiki stuff in heaven. God bless her. But I have two cats, Mimi and Cece. And Mimi's feisty, Cece's pretty feisty, but really she, Mimi runs the roost. I mean, let's just keep it real. And she's like me, she likes to be warm. So she's always under covers when it gets just a tidbit that cold. So I, you know, was just cleaning the one day. <clears throat> I cleaned some different things out, you know, how that spring cleaning is and just every week. And so I happened to realize the one day I came home from working out, you know, had some stuff out. And there was a little mouse, brown mouse, um, just sitting there. And I thought it was like dead and I was horrified. So I at first ignored it. I was like, oh my gosh. So I cleaned my bathroom. I was like, oh, and my cats are just kind of like hanging out. And I realized when I come in the room, it turned around. I was like, oh my gosh, I think this mouse is alive. So my cats just like walk by it, right? Like just, just walk by it. And I'm like, they have one job. I mean, they sleep all day. They have one job, right? Or maybe a few, which is get the mice or make sure they don't come in or get it. Like, I don't want anything to do with it. So they do nothing. So eventually I go and get a broom thinking, okay. And like a little, you know, a little trash bag can thinking, let's just take care of it. You know? So I get this little broom, my big broom with a tall handle, big broomstick. And I go to scoop up this mouse into the trash can. Well, let me tell you what happened was this. <clears throat> the mouse jumped on the broom. I nearly jumped and freaked out. Luckily, I put the broom into the trash can right away and it was on the bottom of the trash can. I had a glove on and then I'm like, oh my gosh. So I take this mouse that's on the bottom, thank God it's a big long trash can, outside with, imagine me with this glove on my left hand. I have and I'm running down the street and there's this kid and like his mom coming up the path. And I'm like, oh gosh, like, can you imagine? Like, okay, who is this woman walking randomly with a big trash can hurriedly, has a glove on one hand and is just walking down the street. And that was me. <laughs> and so I get to this little hill with grass and I put the mouse in the little grass and he must have had, you know, little trauma. This poor mouse had trauma for my cats who just decided to play with this thing, never really helped get it. 
And so it just stood there and I came back and I felt bad because it was really cute. All of a sudden he looked kind of cute, but I was like, you know what? No, we're not, we can't have it in the house, but I'm just sorry. They're kind of cute, not in my house. So <clears throat> I put the little mouse there and then I came back in. But my point is, you know, our cats are animals. I'm like, you have one thing to do. And they just didn't do it. So that was my fun little story about transformation, right? So here we are. You think your mom, your cats may transform into these little heroes to help you with mice, but no. <laughs> the transformational leadership in this little point, because that's what we're going to be doing this week, is with me. I had to transform and be brave enough to get this little ding little mice, mouse, and take them out of the house and never to return. And so that was interesting. That was a journey. And so there you have it. Sometimes you may have other people who can do the job, but they don't. And that's okay. Then you step up and you learn it <laughs> just for a season or maybe it's for some time. And there's always purpose behind it. I mean, hopefully I don't have to do that again, but in the event I have to, I have the skills now. So hopefully that made you at least smile or laugh. I hope you all have a great week. Be well, take care and talk to you soon. I'll see you actually this week for we are going to talk about transformational leadership so we have Edie Huden talking about kingdom transformational leadership we have Sandra Joseph talking about transformational leadership in schools and I'm just so delighted and we hopefully will be having Dr. Dan Cullen at this point or at another point talking about transformational leadership so I hope you have a great day be well you're incredible talk soon